square bail, all this, and I had a good window. But then our square baler decided it needed a new part for square bales in, so we round bailed, which we need round bales anyway, so that's okay. But they're really nice round bales, and we're gonna hopefully get them covered. And get, they have a bunch of people already interested in them, which is great. But that's how we've spent the past couple of days. And so I guess we don't have to load square bales in the barn, which is nice. But sure do want to have another couple of nice days so we can get to the next field cut, so we can get some squares in the barn. We're just loading up. We probably have at least 50, so we're gonna load up as many on the trailers and the trailer and the truck, and then keep bringing them down so we can try to get them covered. We're supposed to have rain the next few days, so if we can get them covered, that'd be ideal. Uh, now with round bales, for people who don't know, you don't have to cover them. They're tighter, but because we like to sell to goat and horse people, if we can get them covered, they last longer and they're less weathered, so it's just nicer. Um, cows aren't as picky, so if they're a little bit wet for a cow, they don't mind as much, but for a horse and goat, they tend to be pickier. So, here you go. We're just loading them up. Probably get another row on top, although I'm not sure he's going to do that or not. We'll see. And then we can get maybe four on the back of the... Two to four. I'm not sure what he'll do. Back of the truck. But I have my little helper here. He's got a soccer ball. Soccer rocker. Oh, nice head! Good one. Nice. Good job, soccer rocker. All right, let's get in the truck. Daddy's waiting for us. Nice job. So now we'll just line it up here where the goats can't get to it, and then we will go ahead and tarp it. I mean, we still have a lot more to get, but I think there's 13 brown bales there now. So we'll do that, and I think we have a lot more to do. We just had one extra from when he was bailing. So we do 12 at a time. We probably got at least, probably three, four more runs, maybe. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so we'll load up here and we'll tarp them and we have one failed cut. It wasn't our plan, hey, but still works. Well, they like the hay, so that's great. <laughs> they got kind of a, the sample hay, one of the smaller ones in the baler. That was the last bale. So we dropped that in and they, they're loving it. That's what we love to see. Brown bales. Uh, we already sold a couple. And <clears throat> so that's good. It's good. There's another set on the other side. So. I have a whole bunch of round bales, square bales. So that's great. We still need to cut this field over here. So we're going to cut that, but that's not as big a field. We cut our biggest fields. Already, so now we just have to cut the two smaller fields. And by the time we do that, we'll be ready for the next cutting, probably. <laughs> but. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and a lot more after that. So, those are all our round bales that we have. Left, we sold, we probably had over well over 50. We've sold probably about close to probably over 35, probably 40. We've sold, uh, we moved them over here just because it's a little more protected. And the tarp that we had was just flying off because the wind was crazy. So, we moved them over here, better drainage, more protected, so they'll last longer. Um, so, hopefully, we'll get the rest of these sold. I need to go relist them. I had pulled the listing off until. We just had someone like, want to buy a whole bunch the other day, so he came and bought like over 35, and he wasn't sure how many he'd get, so I just figured, see how many he'd get, and then I could relist them for what we had left, and we'll probably have a few more added once we cut the other fields, just kind of always a possibility, but most of our round bales are sold, and we like to see those go as soon as possible, since we can't put them in the barn like we can our square bales, so the sooner we get the round bales sold, the better. And then our square hay bales, they are in a barn, so they're protected and covered. So that's easier. Those can last all winter if need be. Just wanted to show you these bales because I started a video a long time ago and I wanted to finish, tie up the loose ends to that so I can get it posted. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. And Ollie, can you say see you next soon? See you next soon. Okay, we'll see you next soon. Bye.